So today, I went to Best Buy like I do every couple of weeks. And I saw a number of interesting things, one of which was the Zoom HD. It was an interesting experience. Before anybody asks, the screen flow issue, go see the video, um, Skype and other VoIP phones, the future of communication or something like that. I can't remember the exact title, but it's the video right below this one. Um, anyway, Zoom HD. Um, let's see. So, as you can see, we've got our main screen here. The font is nice and big, but do you see that information right under that? That I cannot read, and that is pretty much um, the font size of the rest of the interface. Now, the inter it is just a tiny bit bigger, but at the same time, I still have to get pretty close to see it, which means I would end up with nose smudges all over the device. Um, so, the user interface um, was a bit of a problem for me. No music on the device. Um, I would tap music and it would basically, there would be nothing there, even though it would still give you the categories. There was one video. Um, this was the video that Microsoft preloaded. There were also a couple of photos that were wallpapers, which I'll admit they looked good, but I do think that the, the wallpapers that Microsoft chose for the Zoom, uh, just my opinion, but I think they were a little bit too radical. Something a little, they look like something that a hippie would display. No offense to anybody who, you know. Um, anyway, a lot of stuff, uh, settings, um, settings was not available, uh, music, oh, we already talked about music, uh, social was not available, the radio was not available, My, the marketplace here, that wasn't even listed, the marketplace was not even listed, if I go into other, or excuse me, um, yeah, other, um, It gave me settings, but most of the settings were cut off. And this podcast... Let's see. Did, or, did podcast? Yeah, podcast was there. Podcast was there. Marketplace was not. Um, and most of the settings, like I said, were off limits. And if you're probably you're wondering, well, why is that? The reason is because the Zoom had never been synchronized to a PC. Um, so how can you truly try out the Zoom unless you load some music on there or you have some way of listening to music. For example, with, and like I said, the marketplace was not even there. Um, with the iPod Touch, you can get onto the store's Wi-Fi, go into the music store, and listen to some music, at least a sample. And at least that way you'll get an idea of what, it's, what the sound, what the quality of the sound is like. Or you can go into the app store and browse around and try a free app or two. That was not the case. Again, marketplace missing, radio off limits. Seriously, the radio. Excuse me. Microsoft wants you to synchronize your Zoom to the PC, though it won't exactly. If it does state it in the manual, understand that I have not read the manual yet. Um, I just went in there, kind of, just relying on the videos that I've seen. But the radio was off limits. I don't know why. I think that was stupid. Um, and let's see. So we got the user interface. We've got the stuff that could not be used, which actually, unfortunately, meant that I could only spend a few minutes with it because there, there was just there was just about nothing on the device. And um, um, and you know what can you do? You know, like I said, a lot of it was cut. A lot of the stuff was cut off. Marketplace did not exist. Social off limits. Radio off limits. Uh, settings. Some of the settings were off limits. Most of them actually. But there was one setting I was able to get the about uh, box up, and what I got. Well, we with the the display unit was a 32 gig zoom, and out of those 32 gigs, you had about 29 and a half available which is to say uh, the memory is on par with the iPod Touch. But at the same time, it does feature something that the iPod Touch does not, and that is accessibility for people with uh, visual disabilities. 
um, with the vision challenges. S things like a screen reader and a magnifier, those are not existent. The only thing that the uh, Microsoft Zune uh, website has is just stuff from the software. And that's the other thing. If you have a Mac, um, you'd best you'd best put Windows on it in order to use the Zoom. But then again, if you have a Mac, you may as well just go ahead with the iPod. And if you have visual difficulties such that you do need the accessibility um, such as that offered by the iPod Touch, um, the iPod Touch if for, an, for a little, like a multitasking, multi-capability uh, device is your only bet at this point. Um, the Zoom does not have accessibility on board of any kind. So, UI issues, lack of accessibility, and essentially not being able to synchronize, not being synced to a PC means not being able to use about half the capabilities of the device. And yet at the same time, it doesn't tell you, hey, synchronize with your Zoom. And if you're curious about it, I've actually seen a power up video before and synchronization took place. And it still gave you the main menu, even though even though nothing was on there and a lot of the stuff was not accessible. Um, I could not turn on the wireless. Um, that setting was cut off. Again, PC Sync needed. Uh, until Microsoft improves on their on actually takes accessibility into their own hands beyond the likes of Narrator and the mag and um, well, the magnifiers improved in Windows, but until they can bring that to until they can improve Narrator and bring that and the magnifier to their little Zoom device like I, like Apple's done with VoiceOver and the Zoom utility on the iPod. They brought that from the Mac over to Mac OS X on the iPod. If they could come up with a little something for Windows CE, because that's a, this underneath here, this skin, um, I do believe this is running, uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised, a lot of people are speculating this is running Windows Mobile. Um, I'm expecting, I'm, I uh, checked it's Wikipedia. I, I checked Wikipedia. It's running uh, Windows CE embedded, and until we can get accessibility onto that platform and onto this player, as a result, um, you've lost me. I'm sorry. Uh, my needs are such that I would not be able to use this player on a daily basis. Um, not not necessarily because of the Mac, because I do have Windows on this computer, but uh, but it's more of an accessibility issue. Um, so until you guys can improve upon that, and make things a little bit more upfront. You know, you can't just say, let's make them power on the device, but we can't but they can't use everything until they synchronize with the PC. Why not just do something like Apple does where it says, hey, you must synchronize with the PC before you can continue any further. Um, again, these are all just my thoughts. Uh, take it as you will. Um, at the same time, if you do not want to live in an iTunes world, then the uh, then the Zoom HD is your best bet at this time. Um, so my original verdict was seven, but having stated that previous statement just a second ago about uh, the uh, people that do not want to live in an iTunes world, I'm going to bump that up to an eight. So I'm going to say eight out of ten. There are definitely improvements to be made. Until you give, until you guys make those improvements, I will not give this device a perfect ten, and not because I'm a Macintosh user, but the big gripe for me is lack of accessibility because I do have enough vision to where if I put my nose to it, I can use it. Um, beyond the first level menu, but at the same time, if I lose my vision, I won't be able to fall back on accessibility of any kind with the Zune, and uh, that's a that's a real unfortunately that's fail. So again, this is all my opinion. Please take it with a grain of salt. Um, I do not mean to insult anybody, and I apologize if I did. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. And have a nice day.